YouTube, welcome back to All About Custom Whips, baby. You know what I'm saying? And finally, uh, my wraps is here, man. I'm going to wrap the wheels. Partial wrap, anyway. Partial wrap. But first, they've been in the garage. Um, it's not a heated garage. So I'm going to bring the wheels up. I'm going to do it in the living room because they don't even have no tires or nothing on them yet. I had to get my gloves there. I was undoing them. So yeah, man, I got to go down to the garage. Get the rims. I'm going to bring them up here, let them sit. I got a real busy weekend right now. It's like Wednesday, so I'm not even going to get to these till maybe Sunday, Monday, and next week. Well, probably more so Monday. So, and it's Wednesday, so I'm just going to let them all sit upstairs, let them all get room temperature, because they're in the garage for reason. I don't know anything about rap, but I know I don't want to be trying to handle no freezing rim. I don't even know if you can wrap freezing rim. Normally, if it's too cold, stuff don't stick. Or too hot. Too hot or too cold. Gotta be a good temperature to get it to a hair right. So, yeah, wait, but I'm putting on my gloves now, y'all. That's why I stop right here, put on my gloves. Before I open up this door to the freezer, the garage is the freezer, man. Uh, I'll leave that on, turn on the light. Oh, we got stuff in the way down here. Son didn't take out the garbage. Uh, look at this stuff, all this stuff in the way. I mean, you got one job, guys. One job. Take out the garbage every day, boy. You and then, and then this is get all this out of the way. All right, and then look at this, guys. This is what my wife does when she brings the water down. Walk, 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 look, look at this, you know what I'm saying? Just put the water up there on my rims. But yeah, we're about to carry these bad boys up to the living room, let them get room temperature for some few days. See out there. There she go. Y'all can see a lot of snow out there, baby. And we're supposed to be getting a lot more snow too this weekend, man. So yeah, this is a this is a winter project right here. Let me move this uh water out the way, guys, and then start carrying these bad boys up. Alright, guys. One wheel up. Three more to go. Whew, I'm tired from this one. All right, y'all, there he is. All four is family up here. Three, two, one. All right, guys, it's already been, it's been, I guess, about a week now since I brought the wheels up. Um, they're all warm. My orders is done from the other channel. Uh, all my vinyl wrap is in, guys. I decided to vinyl wrap the wheels just the face um not the whole rim just the face the rim is all black and i'm going to vinyl it i, I wanted it three colors so i've i decided it'll be easier and safer for me to do the wrap and you know over trying to paint because one i never wrapped and i never painted but painting is a tad bit more permanent than the wrap <laughs> i mess up the wrap i take it off get another piece start over paint eh, not so much so yeah these are new rims guys right out the box already got one up there mocked up um what i'm going to do first is i want the word kryptonite in the concave on here i'm going to show to, to show y'all that now all right guys so you know i want it facing this way so people know this this is the side of the rim that everybody will be looking at of course that's the face of the rim so the the words got to be facing that way so i'm going to put kryptonite in the concave and uh that's going to be the that's the first thing i want to do i got my red and green wrap here i got my gloss red wrap which is vivid uh 
an easy wrap, which is, y'all look at it, it is a green carbon fiber. So, I'm going to do every other rim, red or green. Come around here so y'all can see. This is the face of the rim. I got some pretty big spokes. They're not little spokes. They're pretty big. They're pretty thick. So, every other rim, even though there's a lot of them, red or green. Now, see how that look, you know, with the black background. And that's how the kryptonite will look in the wheel, of course. So, in green, because I want them three-tone, not two-tone. I was going to do, leave just to do the face all red. But I decided to put do the green. You know, as I'm, as, as I'm looking at it, actually, I'll probably still do it mostly red and probably leave like two do like two green just just because the green is in there and i got green green accents on the car so maybe i won't do red and green every other one yeah i'm gonna do it that i'm gonna do mainly red then i'll leave like two mainly red then i'll leave like two spokes that i'll do green so i think that'll make it pop even more than just every other one red and green that might be too busy so i think i'll stick with yeah i'm gonna do it that way so new plan guys new plan as we go this is live content man so i'll do red face spokes and then i'll just leave i'll do two green face spokes because that uh one 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 green wouldn't be enough i don't think i think i need to have two green spokes and then with the grain kryptonite and the concave man so yeah that is the plan so what i'm going to do first is uh since they're clean right out the box it's never been mounted or nothing as you can see but i'm still going to wipe them down with my alcohol i'm going to wipe them down with my alcohol my microfiber cloth which i gotta get i think that's the only thing i didn't get got my heat gun over there got my squidgy got my uh pry tool got my uh, wrap glove the little blue thing you see over there is my uh, blade to cut the wrap once it's on. And um, I got my the rest of my vinyls over here. The rest of our kryptonites for my wheels. I got four of them, of course, four wheels. And then that is the squeegee for that part. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is go ahead and wipe it down in alcohol. Get it stuck in there and... Uh, Start laying down the kryptonites because I'm going to do the kryptonites first before I flip it over and start doing the spokes with the vinyl. So uh, let me mount this up on my camera and let's get started. Just a little bit of alcohol, guys. Not too much. Yeah, a lot of dust on here, so... Definitely got to remember to wipe the whole thing down outside. That's good enough for the inside there. Yeah, I'm going to face them that way. You know what, let me... So it'll be, so it won't be directly behind the spook, but like right in between the two spokes here, instead of directly behind that, because <laughs> it won't move, it'll stay directly behind that spook. So, let's put it between the spokes. Oh, forgot this part. Ooh, almost forgot that. I almost forgot to squeeze them from the back while they're still on here. So I'm going to go on ahead and do that part now. And then I'll be back, cut the camera back on to uh, mount it up. Uh, there you go. Got to do this part before you peel them. I almost forgot because I ain't doing them in a while. Make sure everything's adhering to the 
clear port, so when you take off the paper back, everything stays on the, the clear port, so you can lay it down right on a wheel or whatever surface you're going to put it on. In my case, the wheels. Now let's spin it back around and get it down on this wheel. See if it's going to come off clean or if I still got to uh, do a little more squeegeeing. Ooh, my hands are horrible. When I clean them, I ain't want to put nothing on my hands because that's a contaminant. Slow and easy. Because where it is, is where it's going to be. There it is. It's on there. Yeah, I really like the way that looked, guys. So, let's see how it looked from the other side. So, that's how it looked when you'll see it once it's mounted. Too bad I don't have the spokes just wider apart with bigger gaps to see it, but. You can see it. It is what I wanted, so I am happy with that. So, yeah, number 22s. Now, let's flip this bad boy over and try to put some final down on the face.
All right, guys, it looks like I got all the spokes the way I need them to be. So now I need to cut out the center and then I can start trimming out the spokes. So let's get to it, man. First time doing it. Never, ever even touch wrap before today, man. First time ever wrapping anything, man. So let's see how this go. Let's go.
was a long process, guys. <laughs> and that was just one ramp. You know what I'm saying? I went on ahead and pulled another one out so y'all could see um, how it looked, how the one I just did look compared to how uh, they originally looked. So let's take a look at it. All right, y'all, there it is. So this is the one I just did. It's my first time ever wrapping, y'all. So no, it ain't perfect. Um, I'm gonna do the other three. Most likely, hope it, I got it down by then. Then I'm gonna go back and rewrap this one. But I mean, I do like the way it come out. I'm glad I did put the two tone in there. It one made it three tone. Um, I do like the kryptonite down there. <laughs> And and I glad I'm glad I put the green in there instead of just having it all red spoke. Once it's on a car, because the green detail is on a car, it'll all blend together. So yeah, I didn't want it all gloss black. This is just just you know, just gloss black. Um, I was going to buy two ton, but they was all out. Who knows when they would have been in? They said they didn't even know when any would would be in. So I just went on ahead and grabbed these the exact same style. Um, the spokes wasn't a different color, so it wasn't like this. So I'm glad I got this and just added my own personal touch on it anyway. So um, I'm actually really happy how it came out. So I'm going to go on ahead and get ready to do this other one I got up here. Because I got two more to do after that. Woo, long process, y'all. Anyway, man, I'm not going to keep you off for that. I will show y'all um the finished product in another video or i just might show y'all i might not upload this until i'm finished so y'all can see all four together um on this video if i get done tonight if i don't get done tonight because i'm a little tired then uh it'll be on another video i'll upload just one just so y'all can see the process and uh i'll see y'all in a bit all right guys I'm going to end this part of the video right here, man, because I'm super tired, super late. You know what I'm saying? I got through two of the rims. So the next video I post, most likely be tomorrow or something. I'm going to uh, finish off the rims tomorrow. Then I'll, I'm going to do a video with all the rims together in the order that they was um, wrapped. So y'all can see, you know, from the first rim to how it was when I reached the fourth rim. Because it got easier, it got better as I learned the material and techniques and stuff like that from doing it um you know what i mean so yeah man thanks for watching this video man like share subscribe i will see y'all with the next video all about custom whips baby we out